What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to Henry 1800, it's been some time once again and in this time, this episode, we are going to have a look at the new mods again that I've already installed, so we have a beautiful castle here that we're going to finish um, once we have more bricks and stuff like that, but I think it's a good start and it just fits so very, very nicely into that landscape that we have here so that's something here and we probably want to have a park here as well don't you think so it's it's looking a bit dim here and also we want to have a second botanical garden that's still on the agenda um, we have the expedition and we also have some business left with the admiral but first of all let's have a look at the zoological expedition in this case um, what's going on here Scylla and Charybdis, your crew tr attempts the crossing of a vicious strait like Odysseus along the coast of Sicily. They see a subsidiary current running counted. Yeah, but well, again, this, um, we already had that and I don't have any items with that. That's a bit strange, but I didn't lose any morale here in this case. Very good. It's a number two zoological expedition. Um, so that we can use them right away in that. Now, what I actually wanted to do is we want to defeat the Admiral at some point. Of course, he's taking away way too many islands in this game. And I thought um, this is no longer be... Or I can't no longer uh, to tolerate this. So what we want to do first is, well, we want to start purchasing some of his islands, some shares of his islands. Because I've got so much influence, I don't care that much anymore about um, my influence anyway and I can purchase that so we want to purchase four key islands that he's actually using one of them is in Cape Trelawney it's not this one here I think it's this one here right so it's one of his bigger ones where we also have the grain and the grey fertility so that's just perfect here so we're going to take this one here we are from now on we're starting to purchase shares from this island the same we can say about his two major islands in the old world. So he's got those two here, okay, where he's got some big cities lurking around. That's though costing me a lot. This one will cost me like 20 million at the end of it. And this one here will cost me like, yeah, 40 million at the end of it. So that's going to be really expensive. We do have the money, but we should be so carelessly about that. But anyway, we're purchasing those shares from now on here. And in the new world, we also want to take something from him. He is actually the strongest in the new world. So we need to be really careful. Oh, he's bought his share back here. So he was quick about that. But we want to continue, of course, purchasing shares. In this case, um, in the new world, actually, let's, let's start purchasing more shares here than only from one island, just in case he tries to buy, uh, buy them back. We kind of allow that, of course. And yeah, we're definitely we're definitely getting on worse terms than with him. Um, in this case, we're still at 76. So he still kind of likes us, I guess. Um, let's give him some money. So he's at 80 again. So we're, we're still having an alliance here, okay? But he's going to declare us war soon. So what I also want to do is I want to um, collect my fleet, if that is uh, that makes any sense. So we want to gather my fleet because I do have warships in every world but I don't know how many so in the new world I've already collected my ships here they're gathering here and what we can do now is we can start purchasing new ships um, stuff like that to increase our fleet um, not only here but in the old world let's have a look I do have some uh, smaller fleet here as well so my battle cruisers but it's not much you know so we will want to um, begin yeah there it is, like more battle cruisers. We can actually do four, five, really five. I'm surprised at that. Let's build five battle cruisers in this steamship yard here. And in Sleepy Hollow, I don't think we have any weapons as far as I can tell. So what we need to do is, nope, only eight tons. We need to buy weapons from somewhere else because I'm too lazy to actually start producing them. So we do have um, the pirate gunboat down here. Which is for sale. Should I scrub that mark from so we can purchase this one here. It has uh, some storage there. And there we can actually purchase some weapons there. And just deliver them to Sleepy Hollow. Um, to also produce the uh, Man of Wars. Ship of the Lines. Ship of the Lines, I'm sorry. So we need to produce them. More of them. Because they're also pretty strong. They're quite slow, I guess. But they're still pretty strong. So that's exactly what we want to do here. Now in Cape Trelawney, it's not that difficult. He doesn't have that many ships here. Only some smaller warships. 
Oh, actually, he just moved a few in here. They are moving out. So in this case, actually, I don't think that I will need to purchase them here. Look at that. There's almost nothing here on this island. No defense. He's only got some defense here, but only a minor one. So actually, I don't need to um, purchase shares in Cape Trelawney. I will just take those islands by force. Um, because I do have quite some, quite some ships here. Actually, that's my main fleet that we have here. And I'm going to use them here then. Um, to totally destroy him in Cape Trelawney. So get rid of him. But the most important one is the new world, actually. Because in the new world, we got lots of islands that I need for coffee and for cacao especially so cocoa so actually i do need that we only have a smaller fleet here so let me just have a real quick look here we do have some weapons in marillo i don't think we have weapons anywhere else though oh he wants 200,000. otherwise he cancels the alliance yes let's give him the money i'm perfectly fine with that what's a bit of money there no we don't have anything here actually so my main problem right now is weapons, I think at least, that I really don't have weapons anywhere else. Bellrock, that could be where I... nope. Okay. So we need to purchase more weapons. Do we have a free ship here? I think we do. Yeah, let's take one of my battle cruisers there, get it down to the pirate, to N, and here we can purchase weapons. That's why I don't really um, like destroying those neutral factions. The pirates especially. They're easy to destroy, really. But what has to be gained by that? Nothing, in my opinion. They just offer a lot of resources, especially the advanced weapons and the normal weapons. And I just love to buy them, because then I don't need to produce them myself. Which costs way more over time. So while all of these things are happening, my ships are being produced and I'm gathering some more weapons. Um, and also, of course, getting up my fleet here in the new world. And also watching that he's not purchasing any shares back. We need to wait another five minutes here. While all of those things are happening, we can go back to Cape Trelawney and continue building our beautiful um, city here. Now, one thing is happening here is the monument, the town hall monument that we can actually finish now. I mean, the next phase, obviously. We're not finishing the project itself, only the phase. And look at that, it's just amazing. I mean, this is a mod, you know, it's not even made by Blue Byte. And it's just beautiful, very detailed and stuff like that. And we can actually go for the last phase. We do need some caoutchouc and light bulbs for that. Good to know. Light bulbs and caoutchouc. Now, both of those things shouldn't be too difficult to produce, especially the light bulbs. We have them here and they need coal as far as no they need actually those filaments there and we have enough of them filaments and glass i think we do have enough glass though as well no we don't okay so we do need to produce more glass and having more sand mines because of that Let's get a few more light bulb factories up there. Um, they don't reduce the attractiveness either. That's very good to see. So I think we'll want to have them down here somewhere. There's the glass production. Let's have them up here. There's some space left here. Let's have two more. And of course we will also want to have another warehouse here that I'm going to upgrade. And we do need more sand, though. That's the main problem here. I never thought I would say that. Needing sand. We already have so many sand mines here working at normal productivity. Yeah. And let's increase their productivity by 50%. It only costs us one happiness. And that should solve the sand problem in this case here. Right, and we do still have the instability with the riots. I only took one page of propaganda the last time, so they should really, really slow down now, quiet down now, those riots here. It's incredible how many we have of them. Even though I do have a happy or content population, except for the investors. And why are the investors unhappy? Oh yeah, there are a lot of goods missing right now, so we should have a look at that. And also the expedition. 
parasitic infestation. These parasites must have come from the marsh goo, all that waist high wading. Now they nestle deep in your crew, who at risk of harm from their own madcap cures really need professional help. And let's bath them in alcohol. A delectable disinfectant. The suffering take immense pleasure scouring themselves in a whacking great tub of the stuff. Indeed, so diverting is this new form of alcohol absorption that even those without parasites take turns. I would take that turn too. And we still have high morale, so I'm pretty sure we're going to succeed at that one. Okay, so what's going on here really? The champagne is a problem for happiness. And the light bulbs too, but we should be solving the light bulbs now with the increased production that we already have. And Kautschuk should also be on our priority list. I don't know why we have so little Kautschuk all of a sudden. It's full actually in El Saral. So it's probably that we don't have enough ships for that. Where's Kautschuk? Is it gone? There's one for Sleepy Hollow up there. Other than that, I don't see any Kautschuk trade route anymore. So it seems like the trade route is gone. I mean, that's an easy cure, but I just don't know why. Why that has happened. Okay, from El Sarao back to Cape Trelawney. For some reasons, there's no trade route anymore for that. So let's open up a new one. We do have the ships for that, hopefully. 200 each. There's one. Oh, enough, enough trading ships there. Let's have two on it for now. I'm so tired. Perfect, so that's that. And the next one would be the rum. So for some reasons, I don't think we have the rum. Elsa Rao to Crown Falls. Three ships on it. Let's have a fourth one. The one that already has all that rum on board. Look at that, two full ships with rum. I don't know how it got there. But Kautschuk should be solved by now. That's okay. We should get some new Kautschuk in here then soon. How's the light bulbs? Light bulbs is going up again. And now let's also have a look at champagne. Yeah, rum is down too. So hopefully we get some good delivery for that. There it is. Very important. Let's continue purchasing all those shares here. There's a second share now for that island. Another second share. And another second share here. He's probably going to cancel the alliance now soon. You also have the weapons here now. And here we can now have the ship of the line, perfect. But we need many more weapons for that. And many more weapons are coming. That's the important thing. All right, and here we have this island here. He has bought it back yet, I wonder why. And also here. Perfect. So those two islands we are purchasing now too. And uh, should we actually purchase this one too? No. Let's let's leave it at that for now. We do have the financial power. I'm just a bit afraid if it declares war on us too soon. Ah, oh, what the heck. We do have a, a, quite the fleet here as well. 
Alright, the Sea of Sargassum, a ship in need of rescue, the vast floating tapestries of algae in these windless waters have long been taught impassable. Just when you thought your own vessel had managed to avoid the yellow-orange plants, you see another ship stuck fast. They must also have seen you. As their alarms begin to sound, with no proper rescue equipment aboard, your own ship risks becoming entangled if you get too close. Should you try to help? Guaranteed success. A steamship should have nothing to fear here. Reward discovery. Critically acclaimed tragedian. Okay, that's an item. I, this is so logical expedition. I was hoping for, well, an animal. Let's continue. We still have enough morale there. 89%. Very good. Hopefully we get some good animals out of that. And my weapons should be coming in soon. Not yet. While those things happen, let's have a look at champagne. Why is champagne so low? There it is. We have no grapes. That is happening way over here. So... Of course, the champagne is sharing with glass, you know, so the other things, so we should be careful. But since there are no grapes stacking up, um, we're not producing enough of them either, so that's probably something. And, oh yeah, this time I'm just going for propaganda because it was so deep red, I'm sorry. I just had to. And in this case, let's also go for more grapes. Hopefully. Where's the champagne? There it is. Perfect. So more grapes are coming in soon and with the glass. So that was three more. Let's have four more actually. That's better. And then still the glass maker. So we should have much more sand now. Actually not that much, but this glass is not zero anymore. We still need much more of that though. Ship constructed. Let's go down here. We still have a little harbor area here that we can use. And we should also get more glassmakers up there, of course. Where are my glassmakers? Oh, I've got quite a lot of them. And they're electrified too, right? They should be electrified. Yep, they are. Nineteen percent is all I can get out of that. Hopefully that does there's something. I mean we need we really need a lot of glass though. So that's a problem. And look at my farmers, it's exactly balanced. Another epidemic in Bellrock. No problem. How's the share looking? Two minutes. How's my diplomacy with him looking? Oh, it's going down. But I think we're already producing more ships now. Perfect. My weapons are here now. So let's unload them. The next ship battle cruiser is already being built and over here perfect there's already a ship of the line and I'm I can build three more two more then I have three of them new ones that's something we're going to need 
and in Cape Trelawney we should never forget to also get some more items now for the museum for attractiveness. Oh, expedition. That's not looking good. The breakout, unfair imprisonment. While enjoying some well-deserved shore leave, a local militia seizes a dozen members of the expedition without explanation. They're taken to a fortress that's been hollowed into the sandstone cliffs that dominate the harbor. The charges against your crew prove spurious, to say the least. And when a hefty sum is demanded, in exchange for the release, the militia's intentions become all too plain. And try to break them out with 70%. You secure an early release. What has this to do with a zoological expedition? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of action loaded. You secure an early release. Your men return to the ship and wait for nightfall. At the sight of a signal flare, the prisoners anticipate your course of action and place a lit candle by the bars of each window. After careful calibration of the cannons, a second flare goes up, signaling the imminent blast. The candles extinguish in acknowledgement before the ship's guns sound. The cliff wall of the fortress crumbles away, taking their chances. The prisoners launch themselves into the water below, just as your ship passes by. Tales of the daring rescue will be going around for years. And with that, the expedition should come to an end soon. Right, we do have the museum here and lots of artifacts, so let's put them on display here. The silver shield, the silken fabric, the Aureus coin, and the silver sword very good getting my attractiveness up there we are a attract an attractive metropolis at this point but instability costing us a thousand at this point riots incredible we do have a perfectly content population again The monument, we got the... Yep, yeah, perfect. It's filling up now. Very good. So I'm I'm confident that we can finish this one up soon and just look at it. This is where my cabinet will reside soon. And yeah, I can move it around then hopefully afterwards it's, after it's been finished because this is not looking in the right direction. So that's something we definitely have to keep an eye on. Alrighty, it's time to purchase some shares again. Not in Cape Trelawney, but in the New World. Oh, actually we are missing some influence because I used all on the newspaper. Okay, no problem. I will wait for it for the next episode. How's my goods looking? Champagne is actually stabilizing now. It's going up. How's my glass looking? I've got couchuk now again, endless endless couchuk and also some glass here now finally perfect New orders. that's all I wanted all I'm not doing another expedition exhibition now because I think the rides are causing the low outcome of it so we need to wait for the rides to cool down in this in this area here what I also want to do is of course we've talked about it um, is another botanical garden we're going to have this one here. I'm pretty certain of it. So we have two botanical gardens then for the next attractiveness level. That might be very good. Otherwise, looking good so far. We're still preparing for war. And Champagne is also looking good. And the Admiral is going down soon. Going to be an interesting turnout. Stay tuned.